actually really sick of these this nail color. because last night I filmed on Patreon, um, which is now private school um, exclusive content, okay? And there's only one tier now. I decided, like, I'm not doing two tiers. It's just too complicated. Like, no, it's one It's one school, okay? There's not two tiers. There's no, there's no, like, private school and then a little bit less than private school. No, okay? Stop, like, no. Like, we're not doing that. I don't complicate shit, okay? It is what it is. 20 bucks. Shut up, okay? Anyway, so last night, I feel like I kind of filmed already because I did that, um, kind of like, I did like a bad, <laughs> bad mood dinner with you guys. Um, but, and I was saying last night in my Patreon that like, I'm just in a really like foul mood right now. Um, and I just kind of, I'm just like done, you know, like it's just a foul mood. Um, and so that's just like how my vibe is right now. And to be honest, like, I know like sometimes like this thing, it's like, I feel like you guys might get off it, get off of like always yelling, get off of like the bad mood thing. Like, um, so I was planning on doing just like, like looks this week and not even really yelling, but like then all of a sudden in like something, like I was thrown for a fucking loop, you know what I mean? Like this week. And now I'm just in a foul mood. Like, sorry, you know what I mean? Like I, I'm not fake with you guys. I'm not gonna like, hey guys, what's up? How are you? Uh, no, it's like this. Like, hi guys. Hey, I can't even do it. I can't fucking do it. Okay. It's like so annoying. Like I'm so sick of these fucking people being fake on social media. I'm sick of it. Okay. I'm so sick and tired of this bullshit. You're miserable. I know you fucking are. Okay. Shut up. Like I'm so sick of these fucking people on social media, these bloggers who act like their lives are perfect. Like you're a fucking like bitch, okay? Like, why do you have to like fake it? Like, why do you fucking fake being happy? You're a liar. You're a liar, dude. You're a fucking liar. So anyway, I'm sick of it. Like, if I'm not happy right now, if I'm fucking it, I'm thrown for a loop right now. I don't feel well. Like, I don't, I, I'm in a fucking very foul mood. Yes, I am. I'm not gonna like be all cheery, but I don't feel like being cheery. No, I will not. It's stupid. Okay, but fake bitch. Okay. So been there, done that. Been there, done that with you assholes. And you fucking pissed me off. So no, we're not doing that. I'm not gonna be fake and nice stupid fucking point, pointless waste of time so uh, anyway before I was really interrupted honestly like I feel like you guys interrupt the fuck out of me um I have a lot I have bones to pick I do have bones to pick like I do and I'm not gonna not do them because I don't I do want like I fuck you you know I'm mad, I'm mad um and then I just have like a lot on my plate like I have a lot on my plate um my house is like like the kitchen's totally closed off right now I think it's gonna be done by like Friday and then on Patreon, probably, I'm going to show you guys, um, because I'm putting up the, my light lamp. The fixture, I think, is going up. They said probably tomorrow. I don't think so. Maybe Saturday or Monday. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, so, yeah. I hate these bitches, like, the most boring content ever. Um, oh, my God. Okay, so, like, what is it? I don't even know because I don't watch them, but I can just imagine. So, let's vlog today. If you want to see, okay, let's go get some coffee with another mediocre blogger and... Like, hi, look at us. Like, we're having coffee today and our lives are like the worst, but like, we're acting like they're so perfect. Like, I'm so sick of it. Like, I'm just like, dude, shut your fucking mouth. Get some fucking real, like, just be yourself. Like, be real, like, shut your fuck. so annoying. Like, you make me want to fucking throw in my mouth. People would like you so much more if you're honest. Just be like, shut up, shut the fuck up. Um, why are you, who's trying, why are you playing people? Like, why are you, why are you playing? Like, stupid. Okay, um, I told you today I'm not in the mood. Like, I'm actually not. Whoa, whoa. So, literally, almost car accident right there. Um, anyway, so today I'm going to get these shoes, and you guys, 
they're like next level okay so um and i bought these okay so i'll show you okay let me go back on my mood okay so i am in a very foul mood today and when i'm in a foul mood i've been in a foul mood since like two monday okay <sighs> since like monday and um i I'm foul mood since monday um it is what it is like i'll get over it it's not a big deal but um so I, um, shit, I'm like, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so when I'm in a foul mood, I dress like foul, I act foul, like, I get, I get like, um, like, if I worked anywhere, I probably wouldn't, like, I probably would not be able to deal with customers, like, you know what I mean? Like, just no, like, we're not doing that today, like, shut your, shut, just shut the fuck up, you know what I mean? Like, and it's not about, like, self-control, because, like, I'm fine, like, I go to work every day, like, it's, like, whatever, I can get, like, I just have a lot on my plate right now, okay? So, um, anyway, I'm in a foul mood. I've said it like four times, but what the deal is like, I like, I have like this thing about me where I get in a foul mood, everything becomes foul. I need to get cigars. Like I just do this whole thing. I'm just like done. You know what I mean? Like, ugh, no, just that's a no. You know what I mean? Like, no, 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 no. Whoa. That's a yield. You fucking idiot. Stopped on a yield. I would have laid my the motherfuck on my horn so bad. You fucking idiot. You should have seen her too. The fucking big like helmet head. Like this fucking carrying care looking blonde bitch. The helmet head. And the fucking. So. I would have literally. I would have literally crucified her. So annoying. I hope she, she's going. I bet you she's going to come right here. Because she was trying to get. Anyway. I don't know. I told you I'm in a foul mood today. So. um, I don't know. I'm just going to like. I don't feel well. I just don't feel well right now. Um. Anyway, I, so anyway, I'm going to get these shoes. So when I went to get these, hold, okay, sorry, my car, hold. I wanted to get these shoes and yeah, I wear them with like the backs down because they destroyed my ankle. So that's how I wear them. I already fucked them up. I know, but I can't like, whatever, they're 50 bucks. I don't care. This is like, I don't give a shit. They're fucking shitty shoes. Like, why do you act like everything's a big deal? So anyway, when I bought those, I was also trying on these other shoes. Um, and I was like, I love, I really liked them, but they remind me too much of my Louis Vuitton boots, my Louis Vuitton puffy boots. Um, so I was like, no, but now because I'm in a really foul mood, those shoes are like so in the like the foulest mood outfit, like like vibe. So um I kind of feel like I need them. Like I kind of need them for this like foul mood period. And I'm just gonna go buy them because they're like they're so cool. And um I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen them already because they're actually not the newest, but they're pretty new. Um, so I'm not even gonna say that I have them first. I mean, I do have them first. I haven't seen anyone wear them, that's the truth. Like I actually only saw them when I went there to get these shoes. Um, and I have never seen anyone wear them before. So I'm gonna take credit for it. Probably, I mean, I'm sure there's other people have worn them, whatever, but they're also men's, okay? They're in the men's section. So no, you basic ass bitches don't even fucking know them. So don't try to act like you know them. So no, don't get, I'm not in the mood to try with you today. So I'm gonna go get that. And then I, uh, motherfucker. I was gonna go to Brandy Melville because I had a store credit. I forgot it. Fuck. I'm still gonna go. I just like all my, all, you know, I wear those shorts all the time, right? Like those Brandy Melville, like they're very like 1970s, like sport shorts. I always wear them and it's like, I feel like it's gonna get hot again here. I know. I just feel like I need another color. I don't know if they have any. I'm so sick of the colors I have. I want another white pair so bad. I feel like I still look so good in the white pair. Like, like I don't know anyone who looks better than me in those white pair, in the white pair. I don't know what it is. Like, it's just so, I look so good. So I just wanted like another pair for, pair for backup, but I can't find another pair. And I just figured I'd stop by. That's not the important thing. The important thing are getting those shoes to, to mix with my foul mood. Anyway, did I tell you guys about my foul mood out looks? So when I'm in a, I, I need to stop saying it, but it's just the truth. So when I'm in this kind of like just foul ass mood. I always also dress like that. And it just like becomes like this thing where I just look like homeless. I look like fucking homeless. Um, this guy literally has dreadlocks, but he's this old white man with like long hair. He has a face like Larry David. Oh my God. With like wild, literally wild gray hair. And, and then a big bald spot right here. And then he had dreadlocks at the bottom, like like old, like gray dreadlocks. Weird. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna get those. And then I really want a coffee. Um, but there's no coffee here. Like I, I, I'm not going to Starbucks anymore. Starbucks pissed me off. You guys know that because I, um, don't, will not be disrespected anymore where you don't appreciate my money. No, I will not. Like 
I'm not doing, look at this moron. She literally wants to die today. I can't live here anymore. So I, um, no, I won't. I feel like every time I go there, you just assume that you're like, you just like are so rude and like you don't care that like you're doing a shitty job and just like whatever, and like throw a drink at me, like no. So I just don't want to go anymore. I don't, I don't like going there. It doesn't make me feel like I, no. I want to like where I go and spend my money. I want to like, There's a store right here. I go to the store, but I don't feel like going to the store. The store's expensive. Like, why is the store so expensive? I'm sick of that shit. Like, it's honestly, every time I, go, I bought this this black shirt at the store, it was like $49 or something, $47 for a plain black t shirt. Like, I don't know why I bought it. Because I just needed some shit. So I bought it. You know that green one that I got? That's from the store. Was it like $47? I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. I think it was. It's like really expensive for just a regular shirt. I mean, everything's really expensive right now. I don't want to talk about it because I'm going to fucking, like, legitimately kill someone. And, oh, everyone's doing what I'm doing. I literally park in curbside pickup now because this is so stupid. Like, fuck off. Everyone's doing what I'm doing now, though. Damn it. I always, oh, thank God. I'm doing that all the time. Like, fuck you. Curbside pickup? Suck my dick. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm taking your spot. What are you going to do? Like... What are you gonna do, like ticket me? I did that yesterday. When I went to the store the other day, I parked like right in front in the loading. Bitch, no one even shops the mall anymore. Like there's no one even here. Shut your fucking mouth. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the shoes. I'm gonna go in. I'm not in, the, I'm not in like the best mood. Do I need makeup? I don't, I got my lip liner last week. I don't need lip liner. Um, no. Um, you know what I would love to do, but I can't because I don't have any friends. Actually, I would really love to like ha have like a party at my house just for like two minutes, so, like two minutes, and everyone has to, has to leave. Um, like uh, for like when my kitchen's finished, because like literally, um, like literally gonna be finished like right now, like very soon. But then like I don't want to do that because I like don't want to talk to anyone. But at the same time, I kind of feel like no, never mind. <laughs> abort, abort, bad idea, bad fucking idea. No, I'm not doing that. Like. The thought of it, the thought of it just like cringes me out. I'm just gonna have a party. Just, just this very small party. <laughs> okay, now Judy's texting me, I'll be right back. Okay, so these are them. Green or black. Obviously the black, but they're all kind of cool, honestly. There's gold. Like a turd, never mind. I like these, they're kind of sick. Like, aren't they just so foul? These are way too big. But these are the green, which I kind of like too. Yes, thank you. Cool, thanks. I'm just trying to decide which color I want. Sorry, I'm saying to my friend. Oh, there's no rush at all. Yeah, we're open until 8. So okay. <laughs> I won't need that much time. Okay. I'll just take the eight in the black. Okay. You have them now, so. Which one did you like? The green was like a little bit too. I got those, I got those black. Yeah. There's a light blue pair, we don't have it here. Uh-huh. It's super sweet too. Yeah. Like they're, they're, they're so they're comfy. Big time. Yeah. With socks or without. Yeah, I know, I can't are. believe the inside is like that. I can't believe it's come out with so many different. Yeah, I like them all. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's one of those things you have like three or four. Or five or yeah, five and they're so inexpensive too. Yeah. Okay, so I just posted on my Insta. I should have posted it on here, but I was just like, it just like I had to do it right there. Dude, like just like I called with Barney's, I'm calling it right now. The buyers of Nordstrom, are you are you buying for Marshalls? Is that what you're doing? Because I'm I'm just really confused. Like why you would choose Okay, I'm not even being, I'm being objective. I swear to God, I would not purchase one thing in that entire store. Not one thing. I went to get the I went to the men's section, okay, to get shoes, to get the North Face shoes. Like I am not kidding. That is like the most like like it's I can it's like discount store, basic bitch discount store. It's like Target meets fucking Marshalls. I'm not kidding. And then they're gonna be like, oh my god, like why did why did Nordstrom go under? Like what the fuck do you think everything goes under? Because the buyers fucking suck. Like why do I have to do everything? Like I'm not kidding. If you hired me, I'd never like if you hired me, I'd fix your store in a second. Okay, that's not the fucking vibe. Are you dumb? Yeah, you're fucking dumb. I swear to God, all these woke pieces of shit out there. That's what the problem is. These woke pieces of shit. They have no fucking style. I'm pissed. No, it's not the demographic. Don't tell me it's a demographic. No, it's not. No one wears that shit. If they want to buy that, they'll go to fucking Marshalls. You think I'm... Okay, you think I'm joking? Go to Nordstrom right now. Go to Nordstrom right now. Go to the women's section. I'm not kidding. Like, I was like, what? Am I in Marshalls? Like, wait, am I in Marshalls right now? Is that where I am? Like, I am not joking okay that place is the worst also i ordered a snickerdoodle okay i ordered a fucking snickerdoodle and gave me a chocolate chip cookie like i don't even like it i hate when you have sea salt on chocolate chip cookies like why do you gotta be fancy it's stupid just why do you do that why do you fuck with everything i, I don't know complain whatever i don't need anyone a fucking fat ass pig um so i wanted the nine the men's nine in the shoes, but they only had an eight in the black, so I just got them. Like, see what I mean? Stop being such a picky bitch. It's not a big deal. These are like comfortable shoes. Like, not tight. I just like to wear big shoes, like bigger. But like, I know like some people out there be like, oh my god, it's like a little bit snug. I think I'm in between an eight point five and a nine. It can make me cringe. You make me fucking shut. Put the shoe on. Shut up. So. These are them, and I actually love them a lot. Um, I would prefer the nine, honestly. I would prefer the nine, <laughs> but I don't want to wait. I don't want to do the shipping. I want them now, bitch. I'm in a bad, I'm in a foul mood. Okay, I'm in a foul mood, and I need to wear them now because it fits with the vibe. Like we're in the foul mood vibe. Actually, you know it's funny. The back goes down, so I think you can wear them. See how there's like a, a lot, crease? They're fifty bucks, they're fifty-five dollars. Like this is such a fucking vibe. Don't wear them ugly. Don't buy them and and wear them ugly. Please don't. You know who needs to buy these is Joseph. I don't know if you watch my videos anymore. The guy from like Berlin or whatever. I feel like he loves these. Oh my God, bitch. Joseph, I got these first, bitch. Yes, I did. Like, <laughs> remember I copied his bag? Um, lots of people probably already has these. <laughs> or probably like, honestly, I really hate them. No, I don't think he hates them. I think him and I have a very similar style. Okay, so I got those and, and then, um, even their makeup is like so tacky. Like even the makeup people, like you guys are just like tacky. Like you guys like don't even like put anything good out. Aren't my earrings so cute? These are my got a light, so cute. We're in the pink match today. And then my Pave diet soda, so fucking cute on my U lock. Then I'm wearing my Tropical in the pink, and then the golden. Okay, just park right next to me when I'm talking about the joy. Um. This is the uh, gold, what is it? Gold brick. Gold brick. It's so cool. And they all come off, so you can wear them like with or without. But I love that combo too. It's so cute. So I'm wearing like on both ears. It's so cute. And I, love, I typically, I love to wear like one, like plain one in the front and then go bigger at the top. It's like unusual for me to be wearing like one here. But I love it. Okay. And then my Dream Tennis Necklace, my Dynasty, my Juliet Baguette Cross. This is 10K. Um, love them. You guys are loving them too. Um, and I just love them. They're such forever pieces. They're like, you'd never take it off. And then my gleam. Okay. Um, okay. I want to show you guys what I got too from, I went to Brandy Melville. They didn't have the shorts. They had no shorts. Um, they only had like big shorts. I'll show you guys. What I'm so I'm going to show you guys what I got. Um, um, oh, that is not shit. That is chocolate.
I had to, this is so bad. I had to bring, okay, so I have, um, I don't like to say an assistant because that's stupid. I don't have an assistant. I don't like saying that. It's so like anyone, anyone who's like, I have an assistant. It's just like, I feel like it's so pretentious. Like you look, if you say that, it's like you're fucking embarrassing. Like you're just absolutely fucking embarrassing. So I don't like to say it. I have like a boy who helps me at the office, us at the office. And then like, he also is really nice with Ming too. So like if, if I need help with Ming or whatever things at my house I need help with, he'll come and help me there too. Um, so I don't like to do like put like labels on things like that. Like it's so weird. He's my assistant. He's not my assistant. Like I don't, he's not it's weird. I don't, I don't like that. It's so weird. Like I would never say that. Okay. So I don't know why. I just feel like it's the most cringy thing. It's the most cringy thing when someone refers to someone as their assistant. Like bitch, who the fuck do you think? I don't know what it is. It's like, I don't get it. Like I don't, I don't like it. Maybe, I don't know. It's just so weird to me. Okay. So anyway, I, I had taken Ming, Ming to the office Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And I could tell she just like really wanted to go out and I don't have time right now. Like I just don't, I'm just, you guys know, like I'm in a foul mood. I'm like, do not have the time right now. So I was like, do you want to come and help me take Ming out? Cause he was the office too, like whatever. I was like, she hasn't been doing what she wants in like three days. And um, he helped me whatever. So Ming's with him right now. Thank God. Like it really does relieve me a lot of pressure. Like I feel bad. Like, you know, the other day, like I was doing cameos and like I had dropped her off, whatever. It's like, she really stresses me out because she's not a dog. Like she's not a, a normal dog that acts like a dog. <laughs> like she's like, you know what I mean? Like she's not like a dog, you know what I mean? She's actually, I know this is dumb because like, she's like literally, she is like a little old lady reincarnated into a, a little Maltese. Like that's what it is. That's what it fucking is. She wants to go to like a cafe and like sit outside in like the sun partial sun partial 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 shade she wants to lit there's things that she wants to do okay and then she doesn't get it's like i i swear to god I like raise a tyrant it's like me if she doesn't get to do it then she like it's just it's like so much guilt it's like i i can't even function like i can't function i will like i don't cry but i will cry about that because i don't want her being happy i need to do my lips um so now that he's like taking her to the park now and i told him i said take her to El loco and like get lunch or whatever she likes to check in there and then I was like, take her around the block, bitch, because like she bothers the fuck out of me to take her around the neighborhood. And I don't like to go around the neighborhood. And why are you staring at me? Um, I don't like to go around the neighborhood because I don't like to chit chat, okay? And I don't like to say hello to people. It bothers me. Like it's a lot, uh, it, for me, it's like, I cannot do an idle conversation. I cannot make small talk, like small talks, shit. Like I can't do it. No, I don't have, like I have, it's, I can do it really well. I'm a chameleon, you know that, but like, and I'm the best, but it takes a lot out of me. Like it does. It's really difficult. I don't know what it is. Like, by the way, this has been on here since I bought the car. Like it's a, I don't know why it's, I'm, I can't even cut it off. It's just a fucking rubber band. It's so disgusting. That's the ugliest I've ever seen in my life. It's ruining my whole fucking camera right now. Okay. So anyway, I just really, I'm like, there's this one guy who I really like. Okay. I get along with, okay. You know what I get along with? It's the weirdest thing. I get along with um fobby like asian men i don't know what it is i like okay ron's not fobby obviously but like i don't know there's like there are people that remind me of like whatever fobby asian men like like bougie fobby asian men there's this bougie fobby asian man who lives in my neighborhood and he is just like a talker like i see him like i forget where I, he just like came to my house one day and introduced himself and he is like i just really like him he's just like bougie he's fobby and he's like doesn't give a rat's ass he's really cool and i love him but he just talks a fuck every, and every time like every time i fucking walk around the block i always run into him he'll like pull up his like white range rover and he's like dressed to the nines and like like the most like i don't know he's really cool i love him i think he's like vietnamese he kind of filipino he's not, i think he's vietnamese Filipino. I don't know. One or the other. Anyway, I really like him a lot, but I fucking, every time I take him around, around the block, I end up standing, standing at the car talking to him for like fucking 10 minutes. Even if I'm on the phone, he'll like stop me. So, um, anyway, that's the kind of thing. And it's like, that's fine because I really like him, but it's like, it's like the casual, why are you sitting there? I'm not moving. Um, it's like the casual pleasantries that I just don't, I don't, I don't enjoy at all. It bo they bother me. Like it takes a lot out of me to do that. You're gonna hit my car, aren't you? I can just see you hit my car. Um, so I just can't. Like, I don't know why I can't, but it's like so weird. Like, so the, the around the block thing bothers me, and then I dress like complete shit. I like when I go around the block, I literally look like I don't belong anywhere near that neighborhood. 
but I don't care. Like, I don't care. Leave me the fuck alone. So, I just don't want, and I, I just, I just, like, I'm not, I don't know what it is. Like, why, I make everything a big deal, I know. It is, because, I don't know what it is, like. <sighs> That's why I love the way my house is situated, so that no one can, like, come over. <laughs> like, it's just good like that. Like, other people in the neighborhood, like, they're more, like, regular houses. Not right, but, like, that the way they're situated, they're situated, mine's situated in a, in a way that, like, it's not easy to come over. Like, I don't see anyone. That was, like, my number one. You guys know that. Look, I'm sorry. My my lip, my mom was like, you need to stop doing your lip. Like, she's like, oh, something about this. I was like, just, just stop right there. Just stop right there because you're embarrassing yourself. Like, why did you have a comment? Okay. So, um... Let me show you guys what I got from Brandy. This person really enjoys just sitting here. So dumb. Like, like I was actually here first and you're making me uncomfortable. Okay. So I got this because I need like, I love these little, okay. So this is the thing. Um, when I was in, you guys, are you guys, I was born in 84, right? Okay. So in like high school, what was that? Like 2000s, right? Um, Everyone used to wear these like little shirts like this, like tight, like little shirts, but I was a fat pig. So I could never wear these little shirts. I look like a fucking whale, right? So I love that I can wear these like little shirts. I call them like these, they, these bring me so much PTSD because I always wanted to wear, like people, people used to wear Roxy and stuff. Remember Roxy? Like my parents couldn't, I never got Roxy because my parents couldn't afford it. And I, like, I wanted Roxy shirt so bad, whatever. Long story, doesn't matter. Okay. So, um, anyway, I, um, love these shirts because they're just these little like small tight shirts that like people wore in the 2000s with like jeans and bitch I could never oh my god like no bitch like wow I could never I could never wear that so I really like these and I don't even sometimes I wear them with no bra and it's just kind of like wow bitch you're like 37 but like I don't look 30 it's like good because like I'm kind of getting stuff okay um then I got this Okay, I saw this shirt. No, it's not. oh, is your fucking blue? I scared myself. I thought these were black. I fucking hate navy blue. I don't mind this color, but I this color I absolutely despise. Okay, I need to return this. I don't think these were black. These are like yoga pants, but like straight. Ooh, it was like sailor. Oh my god, gross. I hate nautical. These are going back. Like, honestly, I cringe the fuck out of nautical. Like. I, there's something about navy blue, like nautical. Oh my God, like, like, I, like, I love USA. You know, I do. Like, um, I fucking love it. But like, red, white, and blue, like, cannot. Like, I could never, I don't know what it is. Like, red, white, and blue, I just can't. Okay. So I saw this. I, like, I like this color. See, it's not, it's not really navy. Like, this, oh my God, I can't even look at this. It's the ugliest to me. It's like, make up your damn mind. Are you blue or black? Like, make up your damn mind. Do you look faded and nautical? Okay. So I saw this shirt and I really, really like it because it's just like a boy shirt. It's like a big boy shirt. I really like it. And I was like, oh my God, that looks so cute with like these shorts. But I couldn't find the exact, these are like boy shorts, but not like the, because so Brandy has like short shorts and then these are like the medium shorts and they have like the long shorts. The long shorts are disgusting on me. These are okay. These are good. Um, and I feel like this kind of works. It looks better in in person. It's like really, like everything's very, like actually my hair is an orange and I'm like actually not orange, but like there's something wrong with this car, you know? Okay, so I got that outfit, that was cute. Then I got this, um, it's just like a, a black t-shirt. <laughs> See how much I put it like, okay, 20 bucks. I could have gotten this over this for 47. Like the store is so expensive sometimes. Like I don't know where they get off. Like, you know what's annoying about the store too? The store is like super woke, right? Like woke blm like all that stuff like but then they're charging that much or ripping people off like oh i thought you guys were like so woke like shut your fucking mouth two-faced okay so um you may shut up now you may shut your fucking mouth if you have any comments or concerns you know what to do with them bye okay so then i got this i like band shirts because i like to wear you know like that chain i fucking love that chain that i'm wearing now the heart the um uh i love pendant on that ball chain or on the capri i love it mini capri i think it looks so cute with but with um band shirts and i like this one because it's cut at the bottom who is this even i don't even know i don't know this is new york city mccallahan the golden it must be a, a, some kind of an artist i don't know okay and then i got this and i feel like this is really cute i love this this is like very my style i just don't know how short it is and i'm i, I think it might be big like 
sometimes when it's ri these ribs are not yeah it's like big i don't like i like when things are like tighter um sometimes when the ribs aren't tight ribs it extends expands too much and i don't know how short it is and i'm not like trying to like do wear like a crop top so i just got it this is disgusting I, I didn't see that 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 store is like dark so they didn't have what i wanted but i got some stuff to like mix in with my everyday shit um i gotta return that fucking pants though i really want i really wanted those pants in black like i won't i will not even wear those like i will not um, okay, so I am going to go now. I wanted to do a list with you guys. Should we do a list? I kind of want to do a list. I was, oh yeah, I want to show you my shoes on too. Should I put the shoes on? They're too hot for right now. It's actually hotter than I thought. Damn it. It's actually hot. I don't want to wear them out. You'll see them in the video. This is not shit. Okay, see what I mean? Like this is actually like cookie. We used to follow this girl on Insta. You know what sucks about not having my, my real Instagram account is that um, I can't like, cr okay, because I had my original HRH account for like ever, for like 10 years, right? So now I can't like, so I've been following people for, the, for fucking ever, right? Like 10 years of like people I followed, I could creep the fuck on, right? And I can't fucking follow them anymore now because like they're gone. Because like I can't, it's like I never talk to them, right? So I like, creep on them, like people creep, right? Um, and now, okay, anyway, there's this one bitch I don't know, that literally, She's filthy, like she's actually filthy. And I like was obsessed with watch with, with like her because she was so filthy and like unaware. And um, she always had like under dirty undernails. I am not kidding. Like, like, like that is so horrific to have a dirty undernails. Like, how do you not know that? You know what sucks though is like this one. I don't know what, cause my, they're my real nails, right? So you can see like the striations, what is it? Like the, you know what I mean? From like the actual nail growth. And like, it is like kind of, it's not dirty, it's just stained. See like that right there? But it's not dirty, but I can't, I can't do anything about it. How to do. But I'm always constantly like making sure I don't shit my nails. Okay. Um, I wanna go do a list with you guys now. I just don't know where I'm gonna do it. Um, so, oh, I look ugly, bye. Okay, I know you guys are gonna literally start coming right now, um, but and I don't make me clarify what that means because apparently the fucking beta males out there don't know what coming for someone means. And I'm not saying coming for someone, I'm saying coming, okay? If you don't, if, I'm sorry if you don't know what difference between come and come is and coming, dumb shits. Okay, so yes, I got a baked potato. I know you guys are start coming about it. But I got it mine with bacon because it's not that many. Actually, bacon is like not very, very many calories. And look at this. Um, don't be a fat pig. Go get this from Wendy's, okay? Because it's actually this is so filling. Um, the bacon is something new that I do because I'm not so fat right now. Don't have to like be really careful. And um, I literally try to get away from the public. See what I mean? Like, I can't try to get away from anyone so I can just sit here and talk and people just follow. Okay. Um, mm, it's so good. It's just so good. Okay. Um, they give me salt. They did. Okay. And pepper. Should I get pepper? I think I will. I'm gonna be bougie and put salt, put pepper on my. <laughs> Potato. Okay. Um. Hold on. Oh shit. Drop the potato here. Okay. Um. So. I'm gonna start off by saying that first, let me eat some of this. This is so good.
Um, okay. I'm gonna eat this later. Because I want to touch you. God, it's so good. I can't stop eating. for a while. Okay. I'm not eating anymore. So I just have two things to like kind of bring up and um I know it's gross but I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna have dirty underneath nails. Okay. Um don't get refer to other videos if you're gonna be judgy. Okay. Um, so what I was going to say is people are on one right now. Okay. So I did a cameo yesterday and I think it was for someone who, um, I think they wanted me to tell their friend about being skinny or something. I don't know what it was. I forget which, I forget. I did a couple, I did a couple on that topic yesterday, but I, there was a clip from it where I was like, don't eat after eight. Um, I'm just going to start off by saying, if you have a problem with me saying don't eat after eight, um, you are so unprepared for anything in the, in the real world. You might as well literally just give up now. I'm not kidding. So I posted, I reposted this, this clip about me saying, are you so famished that you have to eat after 8 PM? Like there really should be so, if you want to lose weight, like you should not be eating after eight. Actually for any reason, you shouldn't be eating after eight. It's the truth. Okay. Um, you know, I'm sorry that everything nowadays is so fucking woke and PC and like, you can't say anything. The only thing you can say, the only thing you can say is it's okay. If you're 600 pounds, you're healthy. You are so healthy. If you feel healthy, you're healthy girl. Like, no, you're not. You're fat pig. Okay. Like I am so sick of this clown world we're living in. If you're overweight, it's unhealthy. You dumb shit. Like, are you, you're literally like, you're like, you're, I'm not, I, I will not. The sky is blue. It's not red. Okay. The sky is blue. Like it's actually fat and a fact, you fucking idiot. So I'm not going to go down like, I, I will I, like it's stupid. Like my shirt is black. I'm not going to say it's not black. Like are, you, like, are you like dumb? Are you touched? So no, uh, all this new fat culture and stuff. Like I, and the reason why I'm like, so about it, about talking about it is because you guys know it's fat. Like look at my other videos, dude. I was a fat fucking cow. And like a lot of you guys were like, uh, well, you guys, the haters were like vicious. Like they're still vicious. Like no matter what, I could be like two pounds and I don't give a shit, but you guys are like actually so nice to me. Like, I don't get it. Like you were like, really nice to me, um, which is fine. Like not the point. The point is like, I, just, I always think about that, but I was fat and I was miserable being fat. Like, and when I'm telling you guys this, I'm talking about my damn self. If you're fat and you like to be fat, go be fat. I like, give a fuck. I'm talking about myself. Like, I hate the way people always assume that like, I'm being so mean, like get the fuck off my channel. You're stupid. And no, you shouldn't be eating after eight. Okay. And yeah, if you have some like weird job where you get off at like midnight, that's, I don't know. Like, you know what I'm talking about? I'm not talking about the fucking two percentile. Okay. Shitheads. So anyway, on, um, to, on TikTok, I reposted that and these fucking like people are acting like I literally said that, um, if you eat another morsel of anything ever again, like you're fat. Like there's acting like I said the most egregious thing ever. I am so sick and tired of everyone being so offended by everything. Like, you know, it actually makes me want to be, want to like say actually whatever the fuck I want to say, because like, you think you're going to scare me, scare me into submission. You think you're going to, you think I give a fuck. And it's so true. It's like, uh, you think I give a fuck what your ugly ass says? These bitches are the ugliest, like literally ugliest. I don't even say Gen Z because not all Gen Z sucks, but like there are Gen Z, but like, you know, that typical, like ugly ass, like 
I don't care. It's like, it's like the wannabe scholar. They went to like some, they, so they went to some like college where they like, ha, they were like fucking radicalized and they think that they're like the smartest people in the world and they have no fucking life experience. They're not going to be anything. They're going to be fucking broke. They're losers. Like they're just complete losers and they're fucking ugly. It's true. Like, I'm sorry. My shirt is black. The sky is blue. These are facts, okay? They're coming on my page acting like what I said is like an actual abomination. Like it is so offensive. Like I might as well, it's like when they're saying that when I say retarded, it's an R slur. Like now retarded, like if I say my car is, my car is fucking retarded, like they'll get mad at that. Like if I say my car is retarded, they will say that I'm saying the R slur about the car. Like honestly you need like you really need help like you think i need help no i don't need help like i'm actually perfectly fine you need help like you will see later on by being offended by nothing and like nothing has nothing to do with you or anything like wow bitch anyway but um it's it's actually really disgusting how people are not saying like she's well, a lot of a lot of you are but um how people like are saying like by, by me saying you shouldn't eat after eight is a bad thing actually it's the truth you shouldn't eat after eight and it's not good to be overweight like bottom line it's not good to be overweight like why is everyone pretending like it's okay to be fat like i'm just so fucking sick of it dude like no it's not okay if you're happy and fat get the fuck out like fine don't 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 listen to this part i don't give a shit okay i don't give a fuck about you no i don't talking about myself um it's not healthy and it's miserable it is for the masses okay that's why like you just i don't want to get into it but it's like it's actually disgusting how these people are coming i'm i'm making me the villain for like speaking the truth it's actually disgusting and the next thing i'm talking about and the last thing is that i was right again just like i'm right about barney's and the buyers i'm right about fucking nordstrom and the buyers okay i'm right about everything i'm right i was right about fucking i was right about the quarantine i was right about everything bitch and then my fucking comments and like emails like oh my god you were right like i thought you were so crazy but you're right like well fuck you okay well fuck you because you guys are the reason that if everyone would have fucking woken up a little bit okay then maybe we would have been in this position but now we are now we're in a worse position it's only gonna get worse okay it's only gonna get worse it is so um let me tell you that something i'm gonna tell you a little story okay story time wake up and you know what? I'm not like the big bad, I'm not like the big bad bitch or like big bad wolf or the wicked witch. And I'm not like, I'm the mean spell. Actually, yes, I am because you can't take the truth. I'm like the truth spell, bitch. Okay. I'm sick of this. Like you can't take the truth. Truth hurts. Okay. Truth fucking hurts. Um, but what are you going to do? Like wallow around in fucking bullshit, like in the clown world? No, you can't. Nothing's going to come of that. So anyway, um, I'm going to tell you a little story. I can't wait to tell you a story. A lot of you guys will remember this story. So when I lived in downtown, when I lived in my loft downtown, like I was so excited for a Starbucks to come in because like the only Starbucks downtown when I lived there nine years ago, eight years ago, um, was like far. So they, they opened one like pretty close to my old, my loft. And I was so excited. Like I was like, oh my God, cause I could walk there in the morning and, um, cause I, you know, there wasn't whatever. Okay. So I started going and I started noticing more and more that the homeless were going in there and like ruining it. Right. Like the bath, not that I went in the bath. I think I went in the bathroom one time. I forget why I knew it never, but I went in the bathroom and there was, it was disgusting. Like there was like, you know, syringe on the floor, toilet paper everywhere, like shit. Like it was just disgusting. Right. So, um, anyway, and then I also, it's like, I remember I being really annoyed that every time I would go there, I would, I used to get like, I forget I used to get black coffee with some cream. I forget what I was getting half and half. So I would, every time I'd go get the half and half, the half and half jug at like, you know, remember, well, not b before all this, they used to have like the half and half out. Now they don't. Half and half was, was like out, right? Every time I used to go, you get used to half and half. It was empty, and because I had seen, so what happened was the homeless people would go up and ask for a venti cup, and they, of course, every the, the baristas would oblige, and they would give them the cup, and they would go right to the half and half and pour the whole thing of half and half and walk out, right? without buying anything just like whatever because no one will tell the homeless what to do because you have to be nice to homeless people okay because like it's just disgusting like it's disgusting the wokeness what has happened because of people being so fucking woke and dumb okay everything woke turns to shit it's true okay wake the fuck up okay wake the fuck up I think I'm, you're stupid and things are only gonna get worse if you continue to be stupid okay there are right and wrong things in this world okay there they are things are pretty much black and white okay yes they are 
anyway, so, um, I was like really pissed about it because I was like, you know, they're ruining the Starbucks and like, I knew like it was only going to get worse. So I called and complained one day. I never do that. Like, I really don't ever do that. You guys know I don't call and complain. And, um, I was like, hi, you know, I live down the street and I'm like, whatever neighborhood, you guys are my neighborhood Starbucks. And you know, I just want to let you know that the homeless are starting. I forget what I said this 10 years ago. Basically, something along the lines is I told him a story. And then her response, I was absolutely shocked, was like, well, we have to understand that the home, that they are humans too. Those were her exact words. I was like, what? No one ever said they weren't humans. Like, that's not the point. The point is that they are just, they're coming there basically stealing all, like stealing merchant, stealing it. Okay. They're stealing the fucking half and half. Therefore, every time I go in there, there's never any half and half. I have to wait for the fucking bar to go fill up half and half. And because you guys will not get a hold on this, right? They're destroying the place. Like they're doing drugs in the bathroom, whatever. Okay. So anyway, nothing came of it, of course. Now, bitch, now what I what happened to me this weekend, and I'm sure has nothing to do with this, has to do with the shortage, but we all know what the shortage is about. Don't be stupid. Don't piss me the fuck off. Okay, if you are dumb, get the fuck off of my channel. I'm not here to fucking tell you every little thing about economics. If you're that fucking dumb, then that's on you. Okay, that's on you. If you want to live in La La Land and be a fucking retard, that's on you. Okay. I know I will not apologize. I will not, I will not, from now on, when I say a word, I will not say, I will not defend it because I will say whatever the fuck I want. This is the last time I'm doing that. Okay. So anyway, um, I went to Starbucks the other day and you guys, I told you about my new drink, right? So I have this new drink where I get two shots of espresso. Didn't I tell you? And I do a lot of half and half in it. I don't know why, like it's fattening, but I just really, really like it. I told you, right? I told you last time, right? Okay. So it's just my thing. And, um, it's bad. It's fattening. It's not good. I need to get off this kick because I, I look good and I'm skinny right now, but like I can, I, I'm afraid I'm going to start like gaining because of that half and half. It's like a lot of calories, right? Anyway. So I went up and I said, hi, can I have two shots of espresso over ice? Um, you know, extra ice. And with, with half and half, I said, you guys can with half and half on the side. She's like, okay, I can only give you four ounces of half and half. I didn't know what that was. I was like, what if I need more? So you have to pay. And I was like, what? This is the first time I'm hearing that. I was mad. I was like, since when? And yeah, I was mad like that. Like since when? Like you can, you can only push me so far. That's the thing with me. Don't push me. Okay. If you start to push me, I'm really nice. Okay. I'm really nice. Um, I'm actually very nice. Okay. And I'm very loyal and I'm very nice, but don't push me, bitch. Don't fucking push me. Okay. So she's like, yeah, you have to pay now. Sorry. It's policy. And I was like, wow, never heard this. I was like, yeah, no, I'm going to need more than four ounces. I didn't know what four ounces was. I don't think I actually need more than four ounces, but she's like, you have to pay. How much? She's like $2. And I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Like, it's not the point. The point, it's like the principal. I'm like shocked. Right. And then I'm going back to thinking to myself, wow, like when all those homeless people just go and steal the entire thing of half and half, like, you know, half and half is not cheap. Like they were dumping that entire thing of half and half. It was like literally this much, right? You know, those like canisters, those big silver canisters they used to have out into a venti cup and walking out. That is like, I mean, and I, anyone, people on here, when I told this story before, people are like, what's it to them? What's it to Starbucks? Do you not understand, you fucking numbskull, that, like, this is what happens, okay? It starts to, like, it's, it, it starts to add up, and then people have to start paying, just, like, with, like, everything, okay? Just, like, the story I tell you, did I tell you about the story about, I think it's American Airlines or United Airlines, I forget what it was, first class or business class, they used to line the trays of, like, food with a piece of lettuce, okay? They ended up taking away that piece of lettuce and they saved like a million dollars or something a year. I'm not kidding. I don't know. It wasn't a million dollars, but it was a huge savings from just cutting out one piece of lettuce from everyone's tray as the garnish. Okay. So you don't think that fucking homeless people going in there and stealing a whole thing of half and half all the time is fucking going to start cutting away their fucking margin, their goddamn business. Okay. So anyway, I was like pissed. I was like, wow. So I like, I'm not gonna do that again. I'm gonna go to Starbucks. I'm just gonna do a different way. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. Not gonna. I'm not gonna get scammed again. I. I, I just fell into the trap there. I was pissed. So what I'm gonna do this time? I'm gonna ask for, um, just that with half and half. I'm. Not, I'm gonna ask for that, and then I'm. Not, I'm not gonna order half and half. I'm gonna order my two shots of espresso, and then I'm gonna when I pick it up from the barista, I'm gonna say, oh, can I have them half and half, please? And then they'll have to take out the container and pour it in. And I'll ask them to to when to stop. Okay. You're not going to fuck me up. You're not going to give the homeless people who aren't fucking paying a dime whatever they'd like, okay? And then tell me I have fucking paid two extra dollars for some fucking milk. Okay. Um, just like when I went to Wendy's. Oh, sorry. I was at no, Wendy's. I went to, like, Carl's Jr. a couple weeks ago. And there was, like, this drug addict. I was in, like, the drive-thru. And I saw what was going on through, like, the window. There was, like, this drug addict homeless person. Like, and the, he, were, he was in there just, like, making a ruckus. And the lady gave him, like, a cookie so he would leave. 
do you see what I mean? Do you see we have to like pander to this bullshit now because there's no way out of it. Like you can't arrest them. Like what are you going to do with them? Like they are like completely and totally out of control on drugs, like psychotic. And these people have to like these, these like people, these like workers have to deal with this bullshit. Like it's absolutely out of fucking control, dude. Like, and you don't think it's going to start affecting us, like affecting every single thing. I mean, everything is being affected shortages, homelessness. Like it's absolutely insane. Like I'm so happy I don't live in LA anymore. Yeah, I'm like there to work, but I don't live there anymore. Thank God I can like get away from it a little bit because I can't stand the way people are like fucking sheep and blinded. Like they don't they pretend not to see or they pretend it's not that bad, like when it's fucking horrific. But anyway, those are my things. And like, I'm just really sick of the people on, um, dude, there's this bitch who's the ugliest person ever. And she's like trying to tell me the thing is like, why, why would you come on my page and, and try to lecture? Do you think I'm listening to anyone that looks like you? Do you think I would look, do you think I would listen to anyone that looks like you? Like, like you have no self-awareness. If I was an ugly fucking person, if I was an ugly bitch, you think I would go on someone's page looking the way she did, the, they do, and write on something and write, uh, write my opinion and be rude. Like there, that's another thing about these like loser scholars. These like, they're like professional loser scholars who aren't going to do anything with their life other than have some bullshit like fucking like degree. That's not going to get them anything. They're going to complain. I'm not going to school and I don't care if I get a job because you have a pointless degree you fucking moron like you shouldn't have gone to college you should have gone and got a fucking job like you've been better off now you're fucking in debt with some stupid pointless degree like you're an idiot okay so now you're like you now you're like now you're versed on bullshit fucking subjects that aren't gonna get you anywhere in life um and you're ugly okay so it's like wow like what are you gonna do with your life actually really pathetic i mean this is this is actually the truth like sorry it's true like like i'm sorry you know like I, actually i'm not sorry this is the truth like, i'm sorry that you're so like you have no self-awareness um, to come on my page and do that. Like, why would you think that I would ever take anything you had to say with any validity or any, any weight, like anything? It's just sick. Like, wow. Anyway, bitch, I'm going to back to eat my fucking potato. And for the Patreons, I'm, I think I told you guys on Patreon last night, but I was going to tell everyone here too. So I have like a commute in the morning. You guys know, like when I, I go to work, like three days a week, um, depending. Anyway, I'm going to, um, you know, I love music, right? You know, I have the best music taste. I actually do have the best music taste. Um, no one can come close to my music taste. So what I'm going to do on there, I've always wanted to drive with you guys. I've always wanted to drive and like listen to music with you guys. I've always wanted to. Um, but I can't. Because of the copyright thing. And because I can't play music from my phone and film at the same time so i'm gonna set up my car with like another whatever i'm gonna set it up so i can do that and then i'm gonna be post on patreon like my commute we can like i can talk we can like drive together i'll play like music like whatever i don't know it depends that's my plan now for patreon um not only that but yeah it's something i've always wanted to do with you guys but i can't I didn't drink the whole thing. Like when I drink my coffees, I didn't drink it. Like this is so. It's like I actually. It's not that bad. Um. All right. Anyway, guys. All right. I love you guys. <laughs> Majority of you. All right. Bye.